little feet and Saturday Night Fever, and more than 30 years and 18 albums later, they are still making music. Now, all in their 50s, the Bee Gees have just released a new album, This Is Where I Came In. The Bee Gees divide their time between the UK and the United States. Robin Gibb lives in a 17th century monastery in Oxfordshire, and that is where Maramina Roderick found him. <laughs> Look at that. Homes meets kids. It's a beautiful thing. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. Kia ora. Hi. How do you do, Robin? How do you do? It's a big Good pleasure. Hi. Homes team. And this is home. This is my home in England, yeah. Can we go for a walk? Sure. Yeah? Like the Bee Gees, Robin Gibbs' home is staying alive, a near 800-year-old monastery. This used to be a grand hall in the 1700s, and there was a fire in the 1700s, and just above the window there you can see some of the charcoal burning of where the fire was in 1750. In the front room there, which is the star, the star chamber, it was where Joan of Arc was sentenced to death. And that's where she had her death sentence passed. And that didn't put you off? <laughs> Not at all. In? Not at all. No, I think it's, it's great. Are you a religious Not so great for Joan, but I mean, it's obviously. <laughs> Are you a religious? Not guy? really, no. Um, I, I, I believe in God, but I'm, I don't have a, a, a particular religion. Although you'd have to have a lot of faith being the Bee Gees all these years. I believe in me. <laughs> it's a, great, a song. A great believer. Song. Yeah, that is a song. Yeah, song. <laughs> It's got a bit of a pond over there as well. Yes. A man in his head. That's called floods. <laughs> and they change the face of music. One hit after the other. I love the Bee Gees. They're everlasting. Here they are. The Bee Gees. High notes, high here. 100 million record sounds. Robin and Maurice, the twins, and older brother Barry. They've been doing it for 38 years. They're doing it again. This is just where I came in. Careful of the rabbit shit. Did you ever think, you know, this is going to be the last one? No more no. after this. Why? Would, El would you ask Elton John that? Would you? Would you ask him that question? Probably, yeah, I would. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, here he is. <laughs> Where I came in is somewhat folksy, new songs, but a distinct return to that old sound. I'm going back to Massachusetts. Oh, Massachusetts. Oh, that was actually written on, in um, New York Harbor. Never even went to Massachusetts. Well, I've been there that much. Really. I started a joke. So, what question do you really hate? Um, are you a woman? Uh, I mean, there's no... Just for the record, you're not a woman. No, I'm not a woman, Thank no. You. I mean, I, contrary to popular belief. And I've not had an operation. I don't put those those terrible rumours to, to bed right now. 51 this year? Yes. Yeah. Do you feel 51? No, actually, I still... I feel 18, but then, you see, I felt lousy when I was 18. So, it's not a good action when people say, I want to be 18. I don't. I felt terrible. I don't even remember being 18, actually. I'm out of my brains all the time. <laughs> Fever's actually never gone away in terms of influence. You can go into a nightclub anywhere in the world today and still hear it. Yeah, everywhere. I found that. Oh, but I'll cut my foot. Darling. But that's it. That's your that's your idea of dancing. That, that's my idea of dancing. In 1978, records written by the Brothers Gibb occupied five of the top ten board. No other songwriters can make that claim. It was so successful that that's the only reason there was a backlash, because it was saturation point. Too hot to be cool then, now so uncool, they're hot again. Their new album is number two in the UK. I can say my voice is stronger than that. Do you do anything? Do you know, I don't know. Honey and milk or all the rest sex. of it. Lots of violent sex. And he's supposed to be the most withdrawn of the trio. With his brothers at home in Florida, Robin's been left with what the media dishes out. You're not going to like it. Because you're vegetarian. Oh, that's okay. 
it's, it's, it's New Zealand lamb. I would love to thank the Holmes program. I'd like to thank the Holmes program for this meat, even though I am a vegetarian and macrobiotic. <laughs> you don't see much of this in England anymore, so it's, I'm sure there are many people who will buy this on the black market tonight. But thank you, the Holmes well, team, for this. Anyway. From the Holmes team to you. Thank you. Brent. A bit of meat for the vegetarian who is not a woman. Right. Well, who's not a woman? You are. are you? No, I'm not a woman. No, oh, I'm I sorry, was. I'm sorry. I was, but not I now. I've, I've had the operation. Oh, 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 oh. This is just where I came in. Did you see the price on that lamb? Or something around seven, seven quid, something around $30. Whew. Well, speaking of 30, 30 years 